All right, four to two. Avs take this one over the Winnipeg Jets. Remain in control of their own destiny, Megan. A uh, little touch and go in this one. Not the best start for the Avs, but they find a way to bounce back. I know they said no, but you can't help but think that like the Gabe Landeskog news maybe had a bit of an effect on the way they started this game. I'm only chuckling a little bit because <laughs> they did say no, that it didn't have an effect, but it was a good start. And I think part of it too was the depleted Jets roster warranted nothing less. Like if they had started this period any differently, mm -hmm. I would have had a lot of concerns. Yeah, no, it was, it was a bit of a slow go for both teams really just seemed like they were kind of feeling each other out a bit. Like you said, the Jets icing a bunch of AHLers. Eventually the Avs were able to settle into this one. Dennis Mulligan uh, gets it going. Just kind of a weird middle period there though, I thought. You have shorthanded goals, you got power plays, and then Miko Rantanen, I felt really kind of put the Avs back in the driver's seat when he tied it up two to two, breaking Joe Sackick's record. Again, another thing he downplayed, but Jared Bednar made it sure to make up for that after. Significant record to see fall. Absolutely, I think it's a testament to this chapter in Avs history and yeah. how it, it does stand alone as a really prominent one. It's a game of faults too, like there are definitely things we could criticize from tonight as well, but Mika Rantanen neutralizing what was a shorthanded goal was so necessary too that it he scores at important moments beyond just the production that he brings and I think it's a little bit reassuring that he is going to be counted on heavily because of the news with Landis Gog. Necessary I think is a perfect word for that because you couldn't come out of that power play down a goal. You go into the power play tied, you could not come out of it down a goal against this Jets team. The Dallas Stars do get the win uh, over the St. Louis Blues, so you had to take care of business tonight, otherwise the Central was out of your control. Huge goal by Miko, necessary I think is a great word. And then we were just talking right before, weird Evan Rodriguez goal kicks things off early in the third, and I, I give credit to the Avs, I thought they were able to shut it down from there. I love too that it's Evan Rodriguez because I think he especially needed it with the Landeskog news as well. The top six is going to be a bit mysterious moving forward to the playoffs <laughs> and Evan Rodriguez is a key part in that. You need him to be producing this time of year. I know there have been moments where he's dipped and has gone a little bit quieter in his game. Even though it happens in a weird way, you see the confidence in, go back into his game after he does get that monkey off his back a bit. And so what a perfect time for it to happen ahead of Nashville and then ahead of the playoffs. Well, it's one of those you make your own luck things, right? It's a fluky goal, but he's been working hard, makes a really nice play in the neutral zone around Nito Niederreiter. Uh, fluky goal, but I thought he earned it. And then Arturi Lekkinen returning to the lineup, ices this one for the Avs on the empty netter. Uh, like I said, they head into Nashville tomorrow for the makeup game from the Thanksgiving Day flood. Uh, in control of their own destiny, a win of any kind, doesn't matter how you get it. If you come away with two points, you win the division. Felt a little rushed in the locker room. I think, you know, we were all kind of joking. It felt like they were like, darn, I was really hoping we wouldn't have to go, you know, with the, with the Central Division on the line tomorrow. What do you think? Nashville play tonight, both teams are on a back-to-back. Got to imagine the Avs show up for that one pretty ready. I think they'll take care of business. I think a player like Lachlan returning is huge, especially because we don't know surrounding Valgan and Cagliano. Yeah. It's going to look to players like Lachlan to have, because I'm sure he's hungry for the gameplay. Mm -hmm. So even though it is second leg of a back-to-back, people are probably feeling tired. I'm looking to someone like Lachlan to maybe have a little bit of energy and eager for this gameplay. Tough news for the Avs today. Uh, not only is Gabriel Landeskog ruled out for the 2023 playoffs, but as Megan just mentioned, they also lose Andrew Cogliano and Dennis Mulligan in this game to injury. Right now, Jared Bednar is saying no timetable. Uh, Andrew Cogliano was spotted on a golf cart uh, in, the, in the underbelly of Ball Arena, presumably heading to the x-ray room. Uh, he's a pretty tough customer, for so for him to leave a game, you know it's gotta be at least semi-serious, so we are keeping an eye on that. But for right now, it's good feels for the Avs. They're heading into Nashville with a chance to win the Central Division and secure home ice through the first two rounds. Four to two, Avs beat the Jets in this one. One more game for the regular season. Boom.